What's happening? I'm Steve from Wilson and Staley Custom Coachworks, and I'm coming to you right after the first of the year with an update. You might be thinking, where you guys been at? Well, we've been with our family and working and doing all other kinds of fun stuff that you guys should have been doing as well. So we took a break. That's what you gotta do. So you can see your kids and your wife. Anyways, so we got some uh, news on Master Bla Project Master Blaster, some updates, um, some things we've got going on. And so that's what we got going on today's YouTube video. Give you a heads up what we have going on. All right, so this is what we got. Uh, we got the body sitting up on the goat built subframe with some duct tape and super glue and bubble gum. We're mocking some stuff up. We got the six liter LS cradle sitting in there with mock-up motor with the mock-up 4L ADE transmission. The adapter on the back, I'm still waiting on the Atlas transfer case. You can see by the headers we got going on here, you're like, hey, I know what's going on there. This thing's getting some turbos. Not only is it getting turbos, it's getting a set of Nelson Racing Engines mirror turbos. Uh, I was able to acquire uh, through a killer deal they had going on the first of the year, a set of 60 millimeter uh, Nelson turbos with a set of their waste skates and blow off valve. So that's kind of, it's just mocked up. It's not fully tied in or anything. I still got some welding to do on the link mounts, uh, the reinforcement plates. I got one side done, but I'm at the point now where I got to basically start mocking some, some stuff up get my ride height set. Right now it's sitting at 20 inches belly height. Uh, the axles are not cut down. You can see these are a set of trailing arms that I built a while back for another project. I think I'm gonna use them on this. They're roughly about 48, I think they're 49 inches. So, um, I don't know, we'll, we'll see how that goes. We're still, up, we're still in the mock-up phase. Everything's like cut apart and everything. I'm just trying to get a profile and try to figure out how I'm gonna start building the inner structure for the cage. I got some stuff done, but you can see that's kind of sitting up there. You can see we turned it into a pickup truck, no more quarters. So I was having an issue with the way the wheel well opening was sitting, where the tire was sitting in the wheel well opening. I hated the way it looked. So I think with a pickup truck bed, it will look, look a little less goofy. So that's what we're gonna do. Also, another problem that you can see from the back this thing's way wider than the original body. So we gotta stretch some stuff and I don't know. We got a bunch of work, but I kinda wanna just give you guys a little update what we got going on. So you can see what we uh, have here. We got all kinds of other projects. See, uh, we got um, a Hellcat in here. They were doing a ton of work. That's actually getting twin turbos and a bunch of other stuff. That's my wife's cousin's car, Fran. So that's gonna be a pretty slick project. Uh, I don't know. I always get questions from people about this crazy van. This is a customer. This thing's been here forever. Just work on it here and there. This thing's got a crazy 440 blower motor in the back. And people are always like, what in the word is this thing? Let me uh, pull this cover back here. Ta-da! How many vans have you seen with a blower motor in the back? I haven't. I don't know, it's kind of wacky, but I don't know, we just, we got this thing up and running and some, a bunch of other stuff. It's, uh, it was a project that was started, I think in the seventies or eighties. And it came to us just kind of, we did a, uh, custom console and some other wacky stuff. And we got all kinds of stuff going on, but yeah, I want to give you an update on project master blaster because we got some of the profiles starting to mock up and give you an idea of what we got going on. We're not totally wasting our time just bits and pieces so as always you guys have fun all that jazz and we'll uh, hit you up pretty soon with another update